Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm sorry about the lighting by the way, it's really really dark even though it's July in Ireland and midday but um, I have a studio light on. But today's video is going to be about how I organise myself in college, what I use to take notes and kind of a haul of what I've bought for this upcoming year. And yes, this may not be as exciting as a lot of other people's uh, really cute school supply haul, but honestly, um, I don't want to spend money on things I'm not gonna use. So I am going into my third and final year of university. So yeah, I will just explain what I've bought and what, how I use it. Uh, I have made a video similar to this before about how I organised myself in college, which I will link, I think it's over here, um, in the cards and that was when I was using a like binder system of all notes, but I've decided not to do that this upcoming year and yeah, I'll just hop right in and show you what I got today. So, some of the first things I got just broke. Uh, a little plastic thing came off one of the pens, but that's fine. Uh, I can't even figure out which one it is, so maybe, it, oh, found it. Uh, so, the first thing I would suggest are pens, obviously, because you need pens. You can obviously choose to, I'm just dropping them everywhere, uh, take notes on a laptop instead, but because I have a lot of files from other things on my laptop, I prefer not to, so, uh, that's just me personally, but you know if it suits you to type your notes you do you But I just have found that I am never really inclined to take notes on my computer and I would Take too much time with the formatting and the design of the whole thing than if I would writing it so when getting pens my thing is as you can tell they are not quality pens you can hear by the plastic and it breaking despite me opening the pack like five minutes ago. I would go with consistent pens over quality pens um, just because, are you really going to refill that cartridge? No, but I like to use the same pen throughout everything. I do the same thing on my planner. So this was like 150 for like seven or 10. I don't know, there's some around the place as well. So most of this stuff is from like a discount store um, and I don't go all out there on different colored pens and and stuff like that because I have a couple highlighters, I have one or two gel pens that I've purchased over the years, that's totally fine. Use that to jazz up notes, especially around exam time, but in all reality for college I wouldn't be like, buy all the gel pens, it's not necessary. I bought a double-ended highlighter, it's got pink on one side, yellow on the other, these ones all came with yellow on one side and then you chose the other, and yeah, super cute, again this was like 70 cents? So this is all I need. I have some other highlighters, but a lot of them are dried out. So I decided to get a new one. And for college, you know, for a lot of your textbooks, you're not going to be uh, highlighting things. At least I wouldn't, because if I do end up buying it, which I usually don't, if I'm being honest, uh, I will be reselling it. So I wouldn't really use highlighters in books, only in notes. So try and get one that won't bleed through your regular paper. Before I get into notebooks, I have these record cards and they are really big, if you can see. So there's a couple different colors in here. My mom got these for my brother because he was doing like state exams, like big school exams. Um, and he didn't use all that many of them. So I took them for doing like case studies and key topics because I know one or two of my required classes. I don't actually know any of my classes except for I have a vague idea of one or two. I will need some case studies. I study politics, I haven't mentioned that before. I study politics and international relations and information and social computing. So uh, they're both quite different, but they're both pretty useful for me at least. So uh, I don't need to take that many physical notes, especially for uh, IS. For politics, I do need to take more and that's what these case studies will come in to play and then also different systems and stuff like that. These will be useful for IS as well. So then starting into notebooks, I have not used notebooks yet for college. I started off with um, some, I think, maybe I used it first semester, first year, I don't think so though. I've always used that A5 back with A5, I love A5 size stuff, um, notebooks, but I use that binder in my previous video. So if you're wondering why I'm talking so fast, my battery's running out on my camera. So I'm going real fast. Um, so this year I got these notebooks from Supreme, which is 
I obviously live in Ireland, if I haven't mentioned that already, so we don't have things like Target or Walmart or places like that that you can get lots and lots of stationery cheap. I got these in Jimmy's discount store. That's where I got everything. And uh, these are stickers I bought off eBay a while ago. Some of them are different, but yes, I decided to just stick different stickers on the front of these. This is a 160 page and some of them are just 80 page, but I will probably be using some of these this semester and some of them next semester because honestly I know by me that this this is my third year I will not be using a whole notebook I rarely take enough notes to fill a notebook for any class so I'll just show you the notebooks I got I got a couple different colors I only got five even though I meant to get six but anyways I got this and I put the little lucky Chinese cat on it because I love those and um, these are really nice notebooks especially the thicker ones but they didn't have as many colors so I decided to go for these ones. I put a monogram sticker on this one. Uh, this has a, a lighter plastic cover and this is the 85 page one I think. So one of those ones, the ones with the elastic are 85 page. This is another 160 and then I have this one with some more eBay stickers and this Sashka Co sticker. So that's just so I can identify them a bit more easily. So sorry if things look a little bit different. My camera died and I had to charge the battery so it's like an hour and a half later. So just as far as staying organized in college, I use this planner and I will just refer you to my planner channel for most things on this, but a brief overview. Um, this There are inserts in an A5 planner, but they are in the style of an Erin Condren life planner. So it looks a bit like this. And in this I have daily to do's and I will have like at the start of the year, I will go through my syllabus and I will write down what readings I will need to do each day to keep on schedule. If I do the readings, you know, try. I don't always do them, but I will try. That's what I suggest you do. But um, they are more important in some classes than in others. But I will do that and I'll have that on a card pinned up on my notice board. So then every week I can just write them all in. Um, for more on this planner, I would just refer you to my planner channel, uh, which is linked down below as well as probably in the cards. So talking about the syllabus, I will usually print all of them off or at least print the relevant pages of when assignments are going to be due, what the grading is, you know, what percent for what assignments, things like that. Um, and a lot of the time the readings will be in the syllabus. So I'll just print off the relevant pages, hole punch them and put them in a folder or a binder, depending on where you're from, what you call it. And I just keep that um, on a shelf in my room the whole time. So if I don't want to open tabs or, you know, do something on my computer, I can just flick through it and I can highlight stuff there as well. I know I did say that you don't need a bunch of gel pens. You don't need to um, color code because that's just not something I would ever think is necessary, but I would still suggest having a couple of Sharpies for labeling your stuff and for like the revision cards and stuff because they're so thick, you can use Sharpies and they're fun and they are colorful. Um, I have two of these, these are really fine point gel pens. Um, I got them in Singapore, but I use the black version of this in my planner and I love them. They're great for underlining things. Um, I don't typically write notes in them, but they are good for underlining my notes and stuff like that. And I also have this regular gel pen and this is a Pilot Frixin, so it's erasable um, highlighter, but it's like a mild liner kind of one. It's very light in color. Um, this is really good for using in notebooks and stuff because it won't go through the page because I don't really know about the cheaper one I just got. So I paid way too much for this, but you know, you just need one. So I use this. Also, just a hint, this is really good if you want to highlight anything in a Bible or in a devotional because it will not go through the page, surprisingly. It looks like it will, but it'll dry out and it's totally fine. That is pretty much it for what I'm using this year in college and how I'm kind of staying organized. I might do an updated version of this when I actually start and when I realize what I'm doing for all my classes and, you know, figure out things like that. Uh, for the most part, we don't get very many handouts. That's not a thing uh, so much in college in Ireland, or at least not to my knowledge. I've never had anything like that. So um, if I did, I can just hole punch it and put it in with my syllabus, or I will just put it in a plastic little slip folder. You know, nothing too exciting, um, but I will update on that. So to summarize, if this is very long-winded, Pens. Consistency is key. 
just to make things look tidier and just to simplify your life but um, don't splurge on them because for at least you know for my planner I think it's worth it but for school pens I don't think it is and um, I also didn't mention this before this is the pencil case I use it's from Cat Kitson and it's like out of oil cloth and I would definitely suggest it I just keep things like these little sticky tabs which I rarely use um, and my colorful pens in here I was able to go get these in the hour and a half that my battery was charging Um, also Highlighters, you don't need that many. Color coding, you don't need that many. Just go for a few things that you like and you think are fun, just to just end that so that you're not like, oh, but I really want to get something. Just get a small pen, it's fine. Um, but you won't be using them that much, honestly, in my opinion. Revision cards are really good for case studies and things like that. Um, grade around exams to bring one with you to the exam centers so that you can just like dump basically or you can just leave outside because no one's going to steal it obviously and just keep it and put it in your coat pocket they're really helpful and notebooks I'm not a laptop note taker so notebooks are the way to go for me and A5 is plenty big so um, I just don't take a lot of notes in college I don't really know anyone who does take a ton of notes so you don't need super thick notebooks. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up or leave some of your advice for people starting college or or trying to reorganize themselves for the new college year um, down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing some more college related videos in the next couple of weeks. I'm obviously going to be moving into my new room and maybe I will film some of that. I do have footage from my room last year that maybe I'll share in that video um, and I'm going to just try and make my room a bit more homey because it's kind of been increasingly getting more nice and homey each year uh, but this is again my final year so um, I'll maybe give some advice and do a room decor haul of some variation even though I don't think I'll be buying all that much but um, yeah that is it and I will see you in my next video bye